Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Mid Morning Manna. Lonnie Management here on behalf of North Harrison Baptist Church. Glad you've tuned in today, and I pray God will give you a blessing. We're we're thinking about some wonderful things today. We're we're thinking about uh, how you can have the victory in your life. And you have victory in your life, not by being victorious yourself, but by getting in on the victory that's already been won on your behalf. And that victory was won by the Lord Jesus Christ. Almighty God sent his only begotten son to die for our sins. And by trusting him, we have eternal life. And as a result of that, the Lord, Je the Lord Jesus, who surrendered everything he was and took what we deserve for sin, even though he had never sinned and he surrendered and said, I'm willing to do the will of God. I'm willing to die for the sins of the world. And so my theme this week and what I'm trying to challenge you to do is to say, dear Lord, I surrender. I'll do what you want me to do. I'll go where you want me to go. I'll be what you want me to be. Isaiah said something similar to that in Isaiah chapter number six and verse number eight. The scripture says, also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send and who will go for us? And here's Isaiah then responding. He said, then said I, here am I, send me. Are you willing to just surrender to God? Are you willing to wave the white flag and say, Lord, I'm yours. I surrender. I'll do what you want me to do. I'll be what you want me to be. I'll go where you want me to go. I'll live the way you want me to live. I'll use language you want me to use, not, not uh, profane language, but godly language that'll honor you. And I'm going to let my light shine. I, I want to represent you well. I want to be what you want me to be. And that's all part of surrendering to God. So let me give you number one on this Tuesday morning. Number one, surrender your walk. Surrender your walk. Uh, we, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, that we walk by faith and not by sight. Faith in Almighty God, that wherever he leads me, I will follow. You know, there's another song, where he leads me, I will follow. I'll be what he wants me to be. I'll go where he wants me to go. Colossians chapter two, verse number six. He said, as ye have therefore received Christ Jesus, the Lord, so walk ye in him. Walk in Christ. Go where Jesus would go. Be what he would be. Do what he would do if, if he were living in this world today as a Christian, as Christ, of course. Now, I, I've been saved for uh, since I was nine years old. And uh, I'm coming up this year. Uh, before this year is out, I'll be 79. That's hard to believe, isn't it? You thought I was like a teenager or something. I, I don't know. But anyway, uh, coming up on that, and all those years, for almost 70 years now, I've had the opportunity to be a Christian, to be saved, to know I was on my way to heaven. And what a, what a, a joy uh, that has been. But I know people that are living for God faithfully who've only been saved a year or two or six months or three months and yet they're living, they, they sold out, they surrendered. They said, Lord, whatever you'll have me to do, that's what I'll do. And so I want you to think about your walk. Your walk is your public display of your life. That's what it's, he's talking about. When the Lord talks about your Christian, we think about the Christian walk. We're talking about the public display of your life. When you walk, you're out in the open. People look at you as you pass by. Colossians chapter two, verse number six. As you have therefore received Christ Jesus, the Lord, so walk ye in him. First Thessalonians chapter five, verse 22, abstain from all appearance of evil. And then in Proverbs 16, verse seven, when a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. So we need to walk the walk. It's, and we need to be what God wants us to be. We need to have that, that, that joy of the Lord in our life. People need to see us having fulfillment and joy and happiness and that knowing that Jesus Christ made a difference in our lives. Now, that doesn't mean we never go through tough times. That doesn't mean we never lose a loved one and grieve. That doesn't mean that it's all just one big uh, happy party. Uh, sometimes there's some tough times, but when tough times come, the tough get going. And uh, God wants to use you. God wants to use me. And the, one of the great keys to being used of God is you getting out the white flag, waving up to God, saying, I surrender. 
Lord, I surrender. I want to be what you want me to be. I want to have a testimony. I, as the world sees me passing through the world, I, as in my Christian walk, I want to represent you well. I want to please you. I want to honor you with my life. Will you allow him to do that? He wants you to surrender. It's not about you and me. It's about honoring him. It's about introducing others to him. It's about representing him as best we can. Ask God to help you do it. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for the privilege we've had to come this morning on mid-morning manna out to a number of people. I pray your Holy Spirit will bless each one. I pray, Father, that you'll give them open doors and golden opportunities to serve you, to love you, to honor you, maybe to share their faith in Christ with someone else. And Father, we give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. This day will never return. Do you have children who are small? Have you given them your all? Have you shown them the way of Jesus, or did harsh words on their ears fall? Soon they'll be gone, never more a child to be. Then you'll reap what you've sown on this not thyself of tomorrow, for tomorrow may never come. We have this chance to live for Jesus, this could be the only one. For life is but a vapor, and soon we'll see his face, and give account for what we've done. Will you choose to yield to him?